when I turn this computer off today, it will be for the last time for seven days. Because for the next seven days, I'm going to be using Samsung DeX and the Uperfect 15.6 inch laptop to get all of my work done. Let's go. It's been a week. Before we dive into all the details of what happened and how it went, let's take a bit of a look at what I normally do in a week on my computer, my real computer, and then let's also look at the setup I use to replace it. A normal week consists of video editing, thumbnail design, applying to emails, a bit of trivia work on a Wednesday, script writing, sort of stuff that helps propel my YouTube channel forward, and that's pretty much the work that I need to do. For that, I use my Galaxy Book 4 Ultra workhorse. But for the last week, I swapped all of that out for Samsung DeX and paired it with the Uperfect 15-inch lap dock. A couple of things really appealed to me about this challenge. The power of Samsung DeX when paired with the right hardware, and the fact that the lap dock has all these extra peripherals that you can attach to it, like a micro SD card slot, for example. And my favorite part is it has an inbuilt wireless charging pad right in front of the screen, wild. So let's go through day by day and see how I did. Day one has been a breeze. Since turning off my laptop, I've wrote two scripts, I've edited and changed out a thumbnail, I've uploaded videos to Sam Mobile whilst multitasking in the DeX environment, and I've kept my phone charged on the very convenient wireless charging pad here on the lap dock. That's part of the appeal of using something like this is it's got a real nice all-in-one package and it's so mobile and portable, I can kind of come out and work anywhere. I mean, I guess a laptop can do the same thing, but I also have everything on my phone as opposed to needing it to be across separate devices. The other thing too, is that the battery on this hasn't really gone down too much. In the couple of hours I've worked with it since I unboxed it and put it down on here on the table, it's only gone down like 10 to 15%. That's while using it and while charging and powering the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's pretty impressive. On to day two. Day two was a little bit quieter. I packed the lap dock in my bag. I recently picked up a Peak Design. I relented and conformed to my daughter's the library. They do a, a fun morning there every weekday. So while she was there and she was being entertained, I thought I'd try and do a bit of work on my lap dock using Samsung DeX. Really convenient having my phone be propelled onto a big screen because I didn't need to bring multiple devices with me to get something done. Everything was on here, so I just plugged it in and worked. In the evening, I wanted to run through my trivia. Normally, I would either do that on my laptop or I would just do it on the phone screen. But I thought this was the perfect opportunity to plug it into the lap dock, launch Samsung DeX, and get a full desktop experience running through the trivia that I normally would run on a Wednesday. Get, to, get through the practice, just lying in bed. All right, so I've just finished trivia. Day three of using this as my laptop with paired with my Fold 6, which I'm recording with. Let me get in the car. Okay, so day three was a bit of an interesting one. I had a lot to do. After day two yesterday being a little bit slower, today I kind of had to catch up. The first thing I needed to do was get myself ready for the video I had to post for Sam Mobile. So, Turn some lights on in here. First thing I wanted to do was get the B-roll shot. So yesterday I sort of copied out the transcript from the video and put it into a Samsung Notes file. This allowed me to then go in today and organize my B-roll I need to shoot. So yeah, I got all that done because I used the laptop screen as sort of my screen to showcase what I needed to film off the shot sheet and then got that done. After that, it was time to then start editing the video. And I really wanted to do it on the lap dock using DeX with the Fold 6. So I needed to get my peripherals all organized. The good thing is there's an SD card slot on the lap dock. So once you plug that in, the phone then re reads it. So because I had a micro SD card, popped that in, and I was able to copy all the files off onto the, the phone so I could then read it in LumaFusion. I chose LumaFusion because I tried Premiere Rush and that, that crashed on me a couple of times early on. So I switched to LumaFusion and seamless. 
really nice experience, especially this being a touch screen with Lumifusion Fusion being a bit more touch focused. I was able to easily drag and drop things into the timeline and then cut and sort of move across the timeline. The timeline was speedy, had no issues. It was really, really nice experience. All the keyboard sort of stuff worked, like pressing spacebar. I really liked how it sort of all operated. And because there's also a headphone jack, even though the speakers were okay, and I got to listen to some of them, you can listen for yourself here. Headphone jack in though meant that I could at least isolate the noise so no one else could hear me. Exported the video really, really seamlessly. I then need to make the thumbnail. Again, using Canva makes it really, really simple. And because in the gallery of One UI, you can take a screen grab from any video you've got, I was easily able to grab a frame from the video and then turn it into a thumbnail in Canva. Then I tried uploading it through the YouTube app, which was a mistake. It didn't, it didn't really work as well as I wanted to because it's not fully fledged out. It's like for a quick upload, like a YouTube short. So the good thing is though, with Dex, is you get a full desktop browser. So I was easily able to go to the YouTube Studio desktop version, log in and upload through there. And it was just like uploading through a normal PC. I did it really, really quickly as well. Touched the thumbnail, did all the upload sort of stuff that I needed to, and was done. Tonight at Trivia, I like to use normally uh, my Tabis 9 Ultra to keep the score, but I really wanted to give this a go. And it was convenient having everything on my phone and I could roam around whilst I was sort of talking in between rounds. But whilst I was marking, I also could use the keyboard and the touch screen to sort of keep the score. So something I'll definitely do again. Seems like Dex so far doing really well. On to day four. Day four has been a travel day. In case you can't tell them in a hotel room. And really this was like the perfect chance for me to be able to test the lap dock when traveling. Normally when I travel, I bring my book for ultra, Tabis line ultra, and I'll bring whatever phone I'm using at the time, which at the moment happens to be the Z Fold 6. The idea here is I can replace the book for and the tab with the lap dock and the phone. Cause I bring the phone around with me when I need to, and then tap into the lap dock I need to expand and do more work-based stuff. So far, I've been at the airport in the lounge with for Virgin before I boarded my flight, and it was really good. I was able to do a lot of productivity, but I was also able to do a lot of entertainment at the same time. The good thing is too, when you want to work on the laptop, you can operate the phone and the laptop screen independently. So I can have some casual entertainment, especially with the fold being in flex mode on the side, and then get some work done on the laptop. And because it is my phone, I can have my buds paired in too. So it means I don't need to use any messy cables. And I know you can do this with a laptop and with the tab, but it's so much cleaner having just one device paired with a laptop. Dex is also really good for the productivity side, paired with entertainment with split screen. Having the ability to have notes on one side and then YouTube on the other is really good to sort of help have some background noise casually glance over entertainment from time to time. The thing I noticed with the plane is that this was really good to watch videos on. Again, everything's on my phone. So the great thing about that is everything I've downloaded content is on here. So when I plug the phone in, I literally just have to put the laptop into like a tent mode or sort of tablet mode. And it's not taking up much space either on my lap or on the tray. And the great thing is too, when the seatbelt sign comes on, you, can, you don't have to pack it away because you can just fold it shut and use it purely in flat tablet mode. It was really good. Now tonight I have an event. I'm going to a special Samsung event here in Sydney, which is really exciting. But when I come back here later, I'm absolutely going to be using the laptop to sort of just have some light entertainment before I go to bed. Anyway, that's been day four. Let's go on to day five. Days five and day six were a little bit quieter. Both days I kind of just relaxed and took a day off. I'd been in Sydney, as you saw from day four, at a Samsung event and got back really early day five so I could go to my son's athletics carnival. And then in the afternoon, my son had football and he played three games. So I was present. I wanted to be involved in that. And day six was kind of the same. There was a football carnival and I was the coach of the team. We won three, drew one, and lost one, in case you're wondering. 
the thing on those two days, what I got to do was reflect. Reflect on the laptop and its quality. From the last time I, I used a UPerfect laptop, they've really gone to work on things like the hinge. The keyboard is a very, very pleasant typing experience. And I really enjoyed the screen. The display being a touch display too was really accurate and really nice to view. And the resolution, albeit full HD, was still sharp and even had things like HDR. I like the little menu options that you perfect give you a two finger swipe down to bring up things like brightness control, the ability to turn on and off the wireless charging pad, should you not need it. And what I found too was that the battery life of this lap dock was very, very positive. So this is actually the last day that I'm using the lap dock as my full laptop replacement. And the thing is, whilst it's not going to replace my laptop entirely, it's definitely going to be included in my workflow. And this is just one of the reasons why. What I've got set up here now is I'm filming a video for Sam Mobile, as you can see. And what I like about the setup I've got is on this side, on the Tabus 9 screen, Tabus 9 Ultra, you can see that I'm previewing what my camera sees. So I can get the framing right, make sure I'm in frame, center of frame, all that sort of stuff. On the other side next to it, I have the lap dock connected via Samsung DeX. And because of the way it works, I can extend the screen of the Tab S9 onto the lap dock, meaning not only can I get the preview of my camera, but I can also get my script. And you can see it's basically just four lines on a notes file just to prompt me over what it is I need to say next. It's such a powerful combination. And because Samsung DeX isn't just a screen, I can then use that as an extension of my tablet screen if I wanted to. So yeah, this is sticking around. Even if when I turn this off today and go back to my laptop for everything else, this is definitely gonna be part of my workflow. It's not going anywhere. Then day seven rolled around and as you saw, from that little expert excerpt, I used it as like a, a script write, a script monitor so I could read what I wanted to say, albeit very light on script. I'm not really a script guy. So after a week of replacing my laptop with Samsung DeX, what do I think? Samsung DeX is an incredibly powerful, portable solution. And paired with a laptop like this, you can actually replace your laptop for about 95% of what you want to do. Depending on how intensive your video editing process is, you could replace 100% because you can absolutely edit video using Samsung DeX paired with a laptop especially. As far as this laptop goes, like I said, I'm definitely going to continue to use this as part of my workflow. I think the combination of things like the wireless charging pad, combination of the ports and peripherals that you can plug into this, Make it a really powerful accessory and standalone product as well because it takes your phone and turns it into your computer. And Samsung DeX is like the center of all of it. I want to thank UPerfect for sponsoring the video. If you want to get a UPerfect laptop for yourself, I've got the links down in the description, including some special offers. If you spend a certain amount of money, you'll get a certain amount of money off. Make sure you use the code that's in the description as well because you perfect have been very generous in giving you guys that discount. So head down below and order yourself one today. Make sure you hit subscribe. I've got plenty more videos planned. I love talking about Samsung DeX. You guys seem to like it too. So I'll continue to do that. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.